In this lesson, you will load a line type definition into the current drawing, and then assign it to specific objects and layers. You will also learn how to change the line type scale, both globally and locally. Open the House 4 project file and type line type. Press Enter. This opens the line type manager, which shows you all of the line types that are loaded into the current drawing. In this case, we have Hidden and Phantom 2. These other line types are part of every drawing. You can access additional line types by clicking Load. This loads the standard ACAD.LIN line type definition file. Scroll down and you'll see there are two different standards, the ISO standard and the regular standard which is identified with descriptive names. Click Center and click OK. That loads this center line type into the current drawing. Click OK and then you can use that line type. Go ahead and select these two header lines. Go up to the Properties panel, open the Line Type drop-down, and select Center. Press Escape to deselect. Now you can't see the line type because the scale is too large. We need to change the global line type scale factor, and that is done with the LT scale command. Type LTS. LTS is the alias for this system variable. Press Enter, and it's simply a number. Right now it's set to 24, which you can see here as the default option. Let's divide that in two. Type 12 and press Enter. Now we can see the center line type appear on these selected objects. But when I change that, did you notice that these other line types also got smaller? That's because LT scale is a global scale factor. It changes all of the line types in the drawing. Let's change it back. I'll type LTS, Enter, and type 24. Let's say I just want these two objects to have a smaller line type, but I like the way that the line type appears on these other headers. You can do this in Object Properties. Select these two objects, and then right-click and choose Properties. This opens the Properties palette. Right here we have the line type, which is set to Center. And that's fine. But right below it, there's the line type scale. This is actually a multiplier. You multiply the line type scale that's set by LT scale times this number to arrive at the effective line type scale locally. So let me just change this to 0.5 and press Enter. Then I'll press Escape to deselect, and you can see the result. We're able to decrease the effective line type scale on these particular objects by overriding the global line type scale in object properties. Of course, another way to assign line types is by layer. Click this button to open the Layer Properties Manager. Let's change the line type assigned to the A header layer. I'll click on it and I'll select Phantom 2. OK. And then close the Layer Properties Manager. So now all of the lines here on this layer have the Phantom 2 line type, except for the ones that I specifically overrode with object properties. If I want these to have the Phantom line type, I can select them. And instead of choosing Phantom, let's choose By Layer. That way we'll let the layer decide the line type that all the objects will have. However, we also need to reset the line type scale because these phantom lines now appear too small. I'll reselect the objects and change the line type scale back to 1. You have learned how to load line types into AutoCAD using the line type command, how to change the global line type scale with LT scale, and how to override line type and line type scale on selected objects.